Well, hello and welcome to a summary of Recovery Journal class where we are going cover to cover in Journal Volume 1. Today is day 33 and we are on page 80 and 81. And the title of today's meditation is Don't Be Afraid to Live. Life is meant to be lived and if you never wonder what's next, placed yourself in a secure routine as an attempt to keep the winds of change at bay. Life is double-sided when we do this because it allows us safe passage with little change with the exception of the aging mirror reflecting remorseful should-haves. Finding balance and taking a risk isn't necessarily easy. It is a challenge that continues over a lifetime to live safe but fearless. Take a moment now and pause this and answer the questions for yourself and then come back and join us. So in class today, we began by defining the word afraid. The dictionary defines it as feeling fear or anxiety, being frightened. Class defines it as internally paralyzed, reclusive, not wanting to face things, being scared and living in fear. Then we define the word challenge. The dictionary defines it as a call to take part in. Uh, class says it's something that dares me to go up against it. It's something to take a risk with, a match, win, or to achieve. It's something to face like a more difficult obstacle with the intent to win. Then we began to develop our recovery boards to thine own self be true by answering the question, how do I know or act when I'm afraid? Class says, well, I pull back from people. I don't trust you or me. I shrink in strength to cope. I withdraw from society. I'm, I'm indecisive. I procrastinate and I don't follow through with my decisions. So now we see how we act. How do I recognize when a person, a friend is afraid? Class says, well, they're doubtful, they're scared, they're fearful to do things. They become desperate in their actions. They're not living up to their potential. They're not acting like their normal self. Class says they express themselves sometimes in a negative way and they're not reachable. So now we see how others act, how we act, and we know we're capable as a human being of any of these behaviors. So we need a list of ways to counteract our fears. Class says, well, ways to counteract my fears are I can pray to whatever I believe in, I can reach out to a person who can actually help me. I can list the worst case scenario, play it through, and then take one positive step to cope. I can face what I'm afraid of with the support of others, and I can actually stop doing what's causing the fear, like if it's drugs or alcohol or hurting someone, I can stop these things. Then I can also step up to the plate with help and I can stop running. So then we came over to the bottom of page 80 and we answered and made a list of two extraordinary things that I can still do today to bring things up into the moment. Class says, well, I can still find someone to do something nice for, like I can buy them a soda, food, or clothing, and if I don't have any money, I can take the time to listen to them or help them with a task. Class says, I can also be of good cheer and I can mean it. I can be supportive. I can, right now, I can re-choose a better road to walk on. And I can offer to do free work or a chore for someone who's elderly or disabled. So then we came over to my page of thoughts and we talked about how we're feeling today. So we know feelings pass and a lot of times we do negative things with our feelings, but we can also do positive things till our feelings pass. So Claire says it's the holidays, I'm feeling somewhat lonely, alone and when in a group. So if I'm feeling lonely, the opposite is I feel part of or I feel connected or I feel joyfully involved. So to move in a positive direction, Claire says we can force ourselves to be around supportive or positive people. We can tell someone how we're feeling. We can get a person to talk about themselves we, and then we can actually listen to them and we can ask, how can I help? To help us to feel part of doing something. Claire says, I feel poor right now, like I have no money. The opposite of that is rich, wealthy, or just okay. 
class says, well, a positive direction that I can move in is I can stop spending money, I can make a list of my bills, and then make a pay, uh, plan to pay them, I can get a hobby, I can ask someone, how can I live within my means, to get some help with that. So we ended up our class today with our note to our higher power by saying, with you, I can face life. I'm not afraid because you are with me today. And higher power, thanks for helping me to find a job with good money so I can take care of my family. So then class summed up the boards today by saying, don't be afraid to live. You only get one life. So here they are, these are our recovery boards for this week. I hope that you will find something that will help you in your walk, and I hope that you took the time to answer the questions for yourself. And happy holidays. All right, see you next time, bye.